Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play West of Lothan. You're here with Rain on the Fever, otherwise known as Rax the Craven, when it's time to hunt some snakes. Ooh, more unrefined meat nuggets. Snake? Snake! Get out of here, boy! Oh, Jesus. Fire breathing coal snake? Jesus Christ. Uh, I whip it. Oh, you can just shoot it. Player nerd. Nice. Oh, sweet. Getting all the snake stuff is nice. Cache of mining supplies, sulfur match, and smelling salts. What are these things? Um, one hot damaging ignites flammable things. Alright, useful. Um, just sell it. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Otherwise, I'd keep it around forever in the hopes that it could be useful. Um, smelling salts. There's one additional action point when used in combat. Okay, alright, that's interesting. This den is filled with snake eggs. Give me all these eggs. I... All right, so can I select, create multiple targets? Damn it, no, I can't. Oh, well. You grab the rest of the eggs from the den and shove them into your briefcase. Soon they'll hatch and feel right at home. There's not enough skin on any of them to be worth collecting. Hooray! Sweet. Can I, can I, can I pick this rock? Sweet! Now I finally have a pickaxe. Awesome. I could have had a crowbar, but apparently I don't know what haystacks are, so that sucks. A pile of loose boards. I can't seem to do anything with them. Oh, well. Sweet. Explain it to Alice? Just wanted to tell you about this mining stuff. It's an automatic methane slower. Stop explaining. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be straight with you, Alice. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. All right, uh, snake pit mine. Not filled with as many snakes as I was hoping. The old millinery, the silver platter, fort all dead. Uh, let's go to the old millinery. Damn. Death of Horus takes a weird turn somewhere and you find yourself completely surrounded by old dead trees. Where are you? A gray mist closes on you as Death of Horses marches confidently forward through the gnarled and ancient forest. You shudder. Death of Horses stops. Through the fog ahead, you see a shape. You dismount to investigate, and it reveals itself to be a shape of a pedestal top of the shape of a book. Take the book? Introductory Next Mex gives you the Grinnin Skull skill? What the hell? Southwestern Necromancy. Oh boy. Well, let's see if Alice flips out when I learn some Necromancy. Huh. Funny this. Alright. Looks like it's probably pretty dangerous. Are you sure you want to read it? On second of thought, let's not, shall we? Maybe we shouldn't just do whatever the pale horse instructs us to do. Ow, still pointy. Darn it. All right. You walk into the millinery and, fi and find five bandits lounging around in a pi big pile made of hats. It's a law skedaddle! The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door in case you'll have to wrangle them individually. Fine. Oh man, filthy hats. We got brims. This was apparently the demo model from a player piano showroom. It's only got three songs in it. They're all children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invented public domain. And they're all set up to play just a first few seconds on loop. The people who worked here must have hated it. What song do you want to set the dial to? Don't change the dial. Huh. Darn it, I still don't have lock picking. Or do I not have enough lock picking? I do not have lock picking. Darn it. Jacuz. Hmm. Well, let's see what the, uh, the 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 player piano does, and see if that draws any of them out or something. I get the feeling this is supposed to be some sort of spot the difference thing, but in some of the cases I can't figure it out. Public domain Joe. Oh, my my old public domain home.
Huh. That's weird. The hats are definitely moving around. But I can't seem to discover the pattern. Funny. Okay, all right. It seems like, it seems like certain songs react with certain characters. Okay, so there is, there is a clue in every room to figure out which hat they're under. Okay. And figuring out the, the clue in every room will, will be able to help me figure out who it is. All right, so turn it off. I'm getting, the getting, hat room number one is just, it's the different hat. Okay, cool. Hat room number two. I figured that one of them was gonna, like, crappy chapeau, shoddy hats. Huh. Ooh. It wiggled a little bit. Nice. She doesn't seem too upset to have been caught. <laughs> I don't know. All right, have her number three. Hmm. Maybe the uh, maybe the player here will help out. Did I just call it a hat player? I may have. Hmm. Oh! Well, here we are. Got no den. Alright, that's enough out of you. Thank you. Hmm. I can't tell if that one in the back is actually different or not. This one right here. Hmm. Hmm. Almost got it. I don't want to screw up and defeat one of them. All right, I'm going to say it. I don't want to screw up and kill one of them. Ah, gotcha. Cotton, caught you napping. Deal with them. We'll turn them in. Where'd you find them? That old millinery? Yep. Of course, you know, bandits would be a lot harder to find if they didn't keep picking such thematic hideouts for some reason. Anyway, here's your reward. All in a day's work. Oh, uh, just moving on. It would appear the next gang is literally a group of ghosts. All right. What? Um, Fort Cowardice. You know what? Let's go to Fort Cowardice. Let's see what's going on there. Um, barn dance is happening. Join in. Got some, got some experience points. Why? Cause we're just that noxious. Whoop! Oh, this place looks like it's uh falling hard times. When life gives you cannons, make cannonade. Hot damn. Oh, this place seems to be abandoned. They're incredibly boring. No, I really want details. Charles Stern, pay grade C4, missed days 8, accrued sick days 88. Satisfied? No, another. Oh, God. Uh, I've really got to learn how to pick some locks. Sweet. Sweet. Huh, administration and mess all basically the same place. Several goblins snoring inside. Let's leave them alone. Maybe there's a goblin I can negotiate with. Look at the papers. Marching orders. 
march back east just as far as you lily livered little yellow bellied feet can go, you damnable cowards. Huh. Oh, got it. Look at the diagrams. Disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. Got it! Let's not worry about that. Render them looted. Sweet. I ain't got safe cracking. Controlled substances. <laughs> Goblin word for toilet on it. Which makes it pretty likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet. No way you want to go in there. Huh. Usually well-sized well cannonball. Huh. Demi Culverin. Hmm. Bet I could... Huh. Alright. I'm gonna need safe cracking if I want to get into that safe, and it's probably gonna get me something explosive that I can use to set off a cannon, which I can then use to scare off the goblins. That's my that's my impression. A greenish human-shaped cloud of writhing smoke wafts towards you, moaning and whispering. Given the smell, you'd guess that somebody ate too much Limburger cheese and they burped so hard they blasted out their soul. I'ma fight it. Swamp shower. Ow! Huh, spooky resistance and stench resistance. The odor geist. I'ma shoot the hell out of it. It has been vanquished. Bit of ectoplasm. Uh, she seems to get experience um, defeating anything that's undead. So that's good. The silver plat er. Howdy, what can I do for you? Do you have a menu? Menu, what are you talking about? Isn't this a walk-up style restaurant? No, no, no. I'm a silver plater. I plate things with silver, you know. Oh, I thought your sign was... Never mind. Need something plated? What are my options? This enchant this will enchant your hat to add one to your maximum action points. Plate my hat, please. Thank you. What else can you plate? Alright, I'm okay, thank you. Alright, that's pretty cool. Let's go to Fort Fort All Dead and kill some skeletons. Lots of forts around here. Somehow I'm not surprised. Oh gracious. Holy goddamn. Yeah, this is a little intense. We have to do something about this immediately. Any ideas? The only way I could think to get rid of all these things all at once would be to poison them somehow? That isn't very doctorly. What, do you heard of vaccination? Look, would you rather fight an army of skeletons all at once or find a way to slip something into their food supply nice and quiet like? Huh. He doesn't seem to notice you. I beg your pardon? Pardon me. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's no force in the universe that can get this tarp off this crate. This crate's just decorative. Hmm. Wonder if I could use that cannonball? Guess not. Not without some stench resistance. Well, thankfully, I've got some sweet smelling flowers. An old patrol cap. Plus three pistol attack damage. Nowhere near as good as my sweet, sweet Pope hat. Thank you for trying. Ah, now that I've got enough stuff, I can uh, organize my inventory in interesting ways. Another ritual site. A burn scroll. There's also an evil leather bound tome. Fundamentals of Nexmex. Gives you raised skeletal buddy skill. Uh, I will ignore it if you don't mind. Ooh, pepperoni mold. A tombstone pizza. <laughs> A floor ring makes foraging random encounters much more likely. All right, I'm down with that. This nasty ring isn't uh, isn't really giving me much of a boost anyway. This mass grave is absolutely teeming with those skeletal riflemen. They don't seem to be interested in getting out, but you could definitely jump in there if you were itching for a fight. There's one wandering in the end of the pit nearest you. I'll hop in. See how tough these guys are. These guys are pretty tough. Yeah, I could fight one, but I wouldn't want to fight more. Oh, well, good, I could put a fire out on myself. Useful information. Oh, let's look at this burn scroll, actually. This scroll has been mostly burned beyond legibility, but you can just barely make out something about hell cow energy. I should check that out. Huh. Sweet, sweet, getting more clues. Mess hall. What do we got? Damn it. This footlocker is only half locked. 
smelling salts, chemical bullets, silver bullet, needles, thank you, smelling salts. Huh. Privy? Flush this one. Skeleton spore? This isn't as gross as you think. It's basically just dust. Oh, well, that's good. Huh. Giant map of the region. All right. Weird place to put a commode next to the strategy area. Whatever. Let's go to the kitchen and see if we can make some poison. Pure poison. Taint it. Taint it with waste. You sprinkle the waste all over the food. If this works by tomorrow, they should all, they should be all more. Uh, they should all be no more. Cool. All right. Well, I'll sleep on that later. Right now, I am gonna. I'm just gonna wander around for a little bit. I don't feel like going to that abandoned pickle factory. That place seems dangerous. Damn it! I don't have a crowbar yet. Let's keep wandering. Humming cave. Let's check it out. Why, thank you, Death of Horses. Huh, these rocks are all weirdly organized. Ooh, weird purple grass. Huh, I'm gonna make a quick note of this. Here we are. So it's... Two, one, two, one, two, 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 one, two, one, and purple grass. I don't know what any of this means, but I bet I'm gonna be glad I wrote this down. All right, let's move on. Hmm. Might be able to push this over. Snake isn't just gonna let you pass without a struggle. I'd rather fight the snake, quite frankly. Ow! It's an electrified snake? Shoot it! Shoot it to death! Snake spleen. Sets an enemy on fire? Damn. An electric snake skin. Increased my spell damage by seven. Not useful for me, but uh, still, the organs will be useful. Do not worry, I'll make use of your corpse. Oh my goodness. That is an Elvibrado portal. What in the world? This thing looks dangerous. I don't know if this dark. Looks like there was a huge cave in at some point. Take the weird device. Strange stone arrow. Huh. Well, I'm gonna keep that note writ down and see if that helps me in any other situation. How peculiar. I'm gonna push it over. Huh. Well, that was weird. Um, wasn't there an item shop around here? Button willows. As I recall, they had something interesting. Well, they had many interesting things for sale, and I finally have the meat to buy them. Hello. I will buy rope. Uh, hammer sounds good. Locks and how to pick them. Yes, please. Modern snake oiler. I already got a pickaxe, so thank you, but no thank you. Uh, no reason I shouldn't have more binoculars. Can of oil? Yeah, sure. All right, let's get a new skill. Issue 198. Quick draw. A skill that increases speed, strong medicine. That's good. Good medicine. I don't need good medicine. I will take quick on the draw, though. Plus one speed. You, then you notice that you also can't see the magazine. You must have dropped it somewhere while you were moving so fast. Whoops. All right, what else do I got? Locks and how to pick them. After you're done reading it, you donate to local orphans. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go orphans, go! <laughs> oh Jesus! Well, let's put some points in some things. I am now even more quick on the draw. I got all that moxie and glamour. Alright, that'll do for this episode of Let's Play West of Lothan. If you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. If you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things like 
make more videos, start streaming, hire an artist to make to, to do cool shit and do the coolest thing I can think of. Get a voice coach for this awful accent. Good night, everyone.